introduction, uh, two years ago we decided as a uh, group, the Manitick and Area Center for Arts and Wellness, to apply to New Horizons for seniors. So we asked if there's any cost, there's no cost for this. The whole intent of everything we do is to encourage people to try something new, something different, or continue doing what they're doing, but provide services. So we have concerts, and we have our exercise classes, and our dear friend Sheila has done two workshops for us virtually, and she very much was looking forward to the day when she could have people. So here you are, and thank you for coming. <laughs> Sheila King, um, is not only well known in the horticultural society, in fact, she just recently received a distinguished award from the Ontario Horticultural Association, and she's on that honor roll, which is uh, just uh, something that doesn't happen easily. She's also an artist, and she is the artist who produced our uh, painting that we have in all our um, insignia, and we certainly appreciate that as well. So, uh, without saying much more, Sheila, I hand it over to you. Well, good morning, everybody. It's lovely to see people that generally I don't know and don't know me. And several of you have said, I don't have green thumbs, and I've never done this before. And I don't know what I'm doing. Well, you don't have to know what you're doing because <clears throat> I'm going to demo one, a simple little round one. In front of you, is this fantastic little dish, dish that's got spikes in the bottom. So when you put this green stuff in it and push it down, it holds solid. You could have a little bit of it up, like that can have water in it. The water in it has got flour food in it, and I've chopped them up a bit. So this morning at home I cut the blocks up, and the blocks are normally this size, and I got four out of each block. And, um, you put them in uh, full fed water and never ever push them down in the water. Just let them float there. And within two minutes, they've sucked up the water and they sink and they're heavy. And you know that they're wet all the way through. So with your flower arrangement when you take it home, all you've got to do is just check there's some water in there and top it up a bit with tap water and it will last for a very long time. If per chance you've got heating on, you know, suddenly it could turn cold, we could have snow, the trick is to take your flowers away from the heated room and put it somewhere cool at night, down in the basement or in a cooler bathroom or something, or even put it in the fridge. I have made a shop or bouquet, which is actually on one of the videos I did for YouTube. At four o'clock, and if you look at that, you can see I made that bouquet last a whole month by continually topping it up with fresh flower food water and picking up the things that dry on me. Now, everybody's got a pile of green, so to start off with, oh, let's first of all talk about the floral farm. This came from the dollar store in Manatech. Hooray, at last they've got it. But there's two kinds of floral farm. What you've got here is for wet flower arranging and they cool it just just floral foam loose floral wet so to put fresh flowers in you need the wet this one which is a more grey colour is for dry arrangements so you could do some of your Christmas silks or dry flowers or whatever you need this it's a bit harder but it will not soak up water and your flowers will die if you put fresh and dear in it. So that's just for a, a warning that there are two kinds. Um, the greenery that you've got there. First of all, you've got this. Um, sorry, I don't know the names of those. That's why we were taught yesterday, we should have said, and that is cool. So if you look down there, if you pick that one off, you can see that, go down a bit, down the stem, you could start cutting that up into bits like that. So you've got one, two, three out of one stem. The bottom one leave a bit of stem up. So that will be short to go in your arrangement there. When you've got bits of stem left, do keep a couple of pieces because when you get to put in flowers in that might be a bit thin stem, it's very useful to poke a hole with this and then put the flower in. So I always keep a couple of sticks handy. So the next piece of greenery you've got, 
It's one of these. Also, I may well be not. I've never seen this before. But a similar thing with this. I could actually cut that into one.
you've got it, but so keep going around the edge so you're covering up the edge of the dish. You're going up a bit. Use the edges. See what my was doing? She's going right into there. Okay, Kevin, I just wasn't sure if I'm fighting this piece down or just the bushes around. Well, you can do this because you want some of it a bit thicker.
you know, our club here on Thursday, um, we started a few weeks ago from the Art Association. Mm -hmm. Such fun. Mm -hmm. But they're never afraid to pick up a paintbrush and jiggle on somebody else's artwork. So this is why. Mm -hmm. Now, you see what I've done? You've got some room to put flowers in. I thought I was covering the whole thing. <laughs> So yes, it roots in water, but you need a fresh bit. 
What is it called? It's curry, curry. Uh, oh, okay. okay. What kind of, does it have flowers? Does it have flowers? No, it has sort of weak looking catkins in it, but um, no flowers, but it blows in the wind and it's all twisty and it, when it drops its leaves, it doesn't really make a mess. So I picked this the day before yesterday, left it up in the garden path, and last night I sat and picked all the leaves off. So that I've got something there. It is sort of interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stick it. Mm -hmm. cool. There's a pile of it over there you could take. I, I don't think it will really get mine because I took all the leaves off. So already I've got something going there that's cute. Now, I again want to cover up that front with a bit of different texture. So I'm going to go like this. This is going to go in the church upstairs if Tom will have it. Who doesn't like it? Well, hide it somewhere else. <laughs> So I'm just going to go in here with a bit of greenery, and I'm not going to be too heavy on the greenery like I was with the other thing. This will be a lighter situation. But I'm keeping that triangular sort of look about it. And of course, every good flower angel makes sure that the back is as covered as the front. That's going to be important. So, what colour shall we have here? It's orange Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's orange Sunday. One Sunday. It's orange. I know. The colour of orange. Mm -hmm. You want orange Sunday? Because everybody's asking mm -hmm. for To wear orange. Okay, good point. So this is in memory of the indigenous children, right? Yeah. So this should have a theme of orange. Now I'm going to have to go and steal a bit more orange. So thank you for telling me that, Catherine. <laughs> so when you get these spray carnations, you don't just go north and pop them in, you can make lots of bits of them. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. There's another trick with them too. This one isn't open very much. You can either blow on it, but I find that's a bit germy at the moment. Or just gently tease it open. With any combination, with a big one too, you can tease it open to do what you want. Or to look how you want it to look. When you push a, a flower into the oasis where it's a bit bendy, don't try and push it in like that. Hold it right toward the bottom. And then it won't snap. This one took me, it's a little teasing old one. Have you ever done that before? No, no. I taught you something new? Good.
Sometimes when you've got knobbly bits at the bottom, it's difficult to poke it in. So cut off both the knobbly bit. Here's another good bit of orange, but there's not much on these. Um, if there's any rough petals, there's a couple of, there's a couple of rough leaves there off. I'm going to use that as a focal point. So we'll cut it quite short. And if you've got nothing better to do, you can sit and probe the buds in as well. But I'll do it that bit. How long do you think those flowers would last? Um, if you keep popping in here and chopping the water up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two weeks. And especially if you put some buds in. Other buds will open like that all over. Really nice is. I suppose the other thing is to know when to stop. <laughs> um, I've been making crabapple jelly, not from these things, but from some big red ones. And my friend came home with a bucket of these the other night and said, Hey, can you use these in your flower arranging? Well, yeah. It's a great color, isn't it? And it was autumnal. So someone's going to say, okay, enough, stop. Not quite. I want to take some of this telephone. Do you only put one flower as a focal point, or what that the little one in the bottom you said was a focal point? Do you have to put one on the other side as well, or are you just is this for against the wall? This is going to go in the church, so it's just front. So there's use. a back and a front to it. it yeah, it's oh, a back okay. and a front because in church it's just the people in front of it that yeah. see it, and it goes on plants and the way. So I'm just filling the bits of dish that I can see with this color and other front, which is absolutely great because it's so light and airy. And you can just pick off the spell. Yeah. So that half thing is that okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So if anybody feels like doing that, there is some tricks in there and there's some bucket of berries you can help yourself. So um, I'm gonna get back to what you're all doing. And then you can choose your flowers and take it away. So this one, I can go in different colours. And I'm going to go yellow, lime green, my favourite colour. Um, and we've got lime green, a big carnation, which will be a focal point, and lime green, small ones, and these chrysanthemums, which are, I don't know if they grow like that, I suppose so. And I did have this, but I might not use it. We'll see. So once again, you could get an awful lot of flower material from one stem. Who saw the flower show on Saturday? You did too. Mm -hmm. You did too. Yeah, you. Well, I see you. I spoke to it tonight from Manitou. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to win all the prizes. <laughs> so what I want to try and do is to use these 
big things here. Um, and it's going to be for a dining room table for dinner. So if I'm sitting at the dining room table, I don't want to see this in front of me. No. Or that. Or that. But about that, because then I can see you and conversation keeps going. So quite often, it's, if you're doing a low arrangement, it's good to sit and do it. If you know it's going on the dining room table. And you see, I'm going to go diagonally opposite. How many did I get off that? Quite a few. And also, I'm not to keep it flat on one high, up and down a bit, but not this one down. It's going to be down lower. If you've got a lazy Susan, it's great because you can turn it. This is as lazy as we could get to it. Improvisation. Even the bugs are going in it. See a lot for me? Get you to move that beautiful oh, yeah. just a second. Yeah. So we can see you do that. It's fine, it's very soft. I can see actually you do it. <laughs> Is that in your way? No. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There we go. Do you have a question? On those red carnations or the orange carnations, you said about the buds. If they're totally closed, will they, like the one you've got in your hand, will they open? I find they don't. Good question. If you give it a little squeeze and help it to open, yes, it might. It might. So if you break that seal, right? Can't find another one now. But the ones that have already so those open, will, those will open. You yeah. can help them to open. Yeah. But you see that bud there is try it. If you just give it a little squeeze so that it breaks, it might open. Okay. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Time to tidy up. Do you have an uneven number of flowers in? We used to have this rule, three, five, seven. Mm -hmm. Nobody takes any notice of that anymore. <laughs> I think we've forgotten how to do So here we go here to now, and really in a way this is good because this is picked up in the color in the middle. Um, so I'm not scared of using this as well. I have a very small garden, um, but most of the stuff I've got in the garden growing is with a mulch for flower arranging as well. Um, in June, all the way through from spring and spring blooms to um, Peonies, um, irises, um, there's always something to have flowers inside the house. There's always something growing there. At the moment, it's time to appreciate your annuals that you put in on grew from seed, zinnias, um, calendulas, tragedies. Um, there's always something. And if not, go for a walk in the woods and just use greenery. Or what's hanging over the garden fence from your neighbour. <laughs> My very first experience of flower arranging, I suppose I was about 15, and I had a cousin who said, oh, they've got this flower arranging course at the church. So on the way walking to the church, we realised we didn't have enough green stuff, so we sort of helped ourselves from people's hedges on the way. <laughs> But that was one time of really going to be going. And then I moved to the county town of Essex called Chelmsford, Marconi town. And lo and behold, they had a county fair. So I picked up the brochure and I could enter that and I'd never entered anything in my life. Well, I went into this great big tent with a lot of very professional flower rangers doing their stuff. 
and I actually climbed on with a few ribbons, which surprised me. Where did you learn to do that? I didn't it just happened. Mm -hmm. um, I was one of the very fortunate people in England that grew up with two, born with two green thumbs. My mum grew up everything from sea. And I'm looking back and thinking about we had no television, no computer, not many books in the house except the local library. Nobody to give us lessons. She just grew it and did it. And my dad grew every vegetable under the sun. He fed half the street. Next door got pet chickens. So food scraps from what he grew went over the fence and fed the chickens. And we had a very easy post-war um, experience, really. We were never hard up for food. Now, I feel here that this needs another zing in there, another car. Yeah. I'm not over keen on putting up with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave you now to go and choose your flowers.